today. Quiet pleasures and serene settings from great Italian cuisine in Ada to a once bustling ranch that's gone silent and a timeless cultural tradition. Travel with Triple A's Discover Oklahoma. Welcome to Triple A's Discover Oklahoma. I'm Jennifer Reynolds. And I'm Dean O'Lally. Today we're coming to you from the beautiful Skirvin Hilton Hotel in downtown Oklahoma City. This place speaks of elegance and class and peaceful surroundings. And this show is all about those quiet pleasures. And our show, Wagner, is going to kick things off for us with a visit to a tranquil spot that was once a bustling city. It would be easy to dismiss this area near Marland as just a collection of crumbling foundations. But if you take the time to listen, this place has quite a story to tell. Amongst the cicadas and the hum of sporadic traffic on State Highway 156 are the whispers of a once bustling empire, known the world over as the 101 Ranch. It was Colonel George W. Miller who founded the 101 Ranch in Northern Oklahoma in 1893. He and his wife Molly, sons Joe, Zach, and George Jr., along with daughter Alma, helped establish what became known as the largest diversified farm and ranch in America. It was like a country in itself. They were self-sufficient. They even had their own currency they could spend on the ranch and stuff. So they had their own school, they had their church, they had their canneries, their butchers, their dairies. They had their own oil play, uh, fields out there. And it stretched for 110,000 acres, so that took in four counties. So it's really hard to imagine how big the ranch was in this day. But it's a bit easier to imagine thanks to the continuing efforts of a group known as the Old Timers Association, made up of historians and other 101 aficionados who labor to keep the memory of the legendary ranch alive. It's a piece of history that we don't want lost. We put up podium signs. We're still putting up at different places where buildings were and stuff. So it kind of gives you an idea where the ranch and what the buildings were at the ranch and everything. And across the road is what's left of the monkey gorilla cage. At one time, they kept the bear in there too. Then when you went up by the store, there's a big uh, box that had ice and water and it had pop in there. And the bear cage was right there by the store. And you could get the pop and give it to the bear. And he'd just tip it up and drink a whole bottle. He eventually died from diabetes. It might seem a little odd that an Oklahoma ranch had a bear, monkeys and gorillas, even elephants. But it all makes perfect sense once you realize this ranch was also home to a Wild West show. The first rodeo they did down there was like 1905. It was on the county line. 65,000 people came to see Geronimo. And it, it's hard to picture that many people in this area. Celebrity bulldogger Bill Pickett called the ranch home, and some of the first ever Western movies were made right here. Big wigs of the era frequently hung around the ranch headquarters, lovingly called the White House. But the bright lights didn't last forever, and during the Depression, the ranch failed. And in 1936, it was sold off in parcels after 43 years of operation. And eventually, the only folks left on the ranch were those buried high on a hilltop. The White House Foundation and Iron Fence still stand, and some of the original furniture has been found and returned and collected here in Marlin's Grand Home in Ponca City. In the basement of the Grand Home, there is a museum dedicated to telling the 101 story. And it's a must see for anyone wanting to immerse themselves in 101 ranch history. We have the clock out of the White House. The player piano that once entertained ranch guests has also been rescued. My favorite attraction in this museum is the teensy weensy scale diorama of the 101 Ranch Wild West Show. If you adore miniatures like I do, be sure and wear your comfy shoes because you'll want to stand and study this thing for hours. Chronicles of life on the 101 Ranch always capture imaginations. 
To think that an epic empire rose right out of the Oklahoma prairie. They are tales worth remembering and repeating because they bear witness to the fact that in Oklahoma, truly anything's possible. In Marland, I'm Shell Wagner. You know, Jennifer, you know that I'm always on the lookout for a place that can serve authentic Italian food. And you know the difference. Unfortunately, there are lots of authentic Italian treasures tucked here, like Papadillo's in Oklahoma City or Aromas in Durant. Those are two of my favorite two places. places. Now, recently, though, Tommy Evans and I, videographer Tommy Evans and I, happened to a new place in Ada, and shall I say it was Delicio e Molto Bono. Which roughly translated means... You're going to have to watch the story and find out. <laughs> I grew up realizing Italian food can nourish the body and soul by celebrating fresh ingredients prepared with love and care. At Papa Giorgio's in Ada, you can taste the melding of those fresh ingredients made with love and care in every dish. Open since 2001, the business increased at the downtown restaurant so much, owners Gay and George Velu opened a second location on the north side of Ada in 2008. The bottom line is the food here is authentic, it's fresh and diverse. We're making all fresh food, okay? We're making from scratch. People who come and sit down, wait a little bit, and we're making all from scratch fresh food, not frozen, not nothing. We just we got fresh food. And people wait a little bit and they say, John. No microwaves. No microwave. No, no microwaves microwave. in either restaurant. Really? Really. No using microwave. You order the food, the pan goes on the stove, the sauce starts going in. There's a phrase in Italian, la dolce vita, which means the sweet life. That's also celebrated in food here because it is so fresh and vibrant. And yes, I'm here to tell you the secret to good Italian cooking is indeed in the sauce. We sauce make it by, by itself, okay? We buy the sauce, we, we make it here, cook. From in the morning, eight o'clock, when I come in here, eight o'clock to four o'clock afternoon, cook slowly and a grill, slowly. And we put this spicy, all spicy, and you get food, that's it. The marinara sauce. Marinara sauce. He's talking this, about. But this marinara sauce, you know, me buy all the time from Italian people, this uh, tomatoes, okay, so me buy from New Jersey, Joe Lisanti in Dallas, from over there, they come in here and every week. This is me buy all the time, same cheese, same sauce, never change, people like, I can't change. Something else that doesn't change is technique, as in how their pizza is made. It's all done by hand, of course. The dough is rolled out and cut. The sauce is made for the pizza. And I want to tell you, this is some of the best pizza I've ever eaten. The restaurant has several signature dishes, from this delicious mahi-mahi to shrimp fettuccine to pepper steak to chicken fettuccine. But by far, the best appetizer has to be the stuffed mushrooms. They were absolutely incredible. And the secret to the tasty mushrooms Brandy ah. cream sauce, everybody loves it. What, what kind it's of got a brandy cream sauce in it. Mm -hmm. We sell the brandy cream sauce. Uh, a lot of people want it just by itself to put on other food, food products. The two restaurants do differ a little bit in ambiance and decor, and also in some of the menu items. Well, we serve the same basic food, but each store has certain items that they only serve. Like the North location, we, we do Italian burgers and we do uh, uh, special dishes for the kids that, because there's more children that tend families that go there with little kids because the two, area, two stores are set up differently. This is more of an old world style and uh, the other one is more a, uh, like a cosmopolitan look and so you have, and with no tablecloths. And a local artist by the name of Loretta Yin made all the murals in both stores. The original downtown restaurant has a new section, a deli, and a martini bar. And just to let you know how loyal their customers are, many times they will call to make reservations and request a table by its number. That is what I call loyal and well-satisfied customers who keep coming back for more. Papa Giorgio's has two locations. Plan your next trip to Ada for a great dining and shopping experience. But first, make a quick trip over to the Discover Oklahoma page at TravelOK.com and we'll help get you started. Lots more quiet pleasures still ahead. Up next, we're headed to Tulsa to check out a Tulsa tradition. We'll tell you all about it when AAA's Discover Oklahoma continues right after this. On the road, one never knows what lies ahead. Indubitably, almost every week, one encounters bad form from Sunday drivers. Sheer rudeness begets the occasional fender bender. Precisely why we have insurance from AAA. Here, here. A name drivers can trust. 
Especially good ones. Especially great ones. Cheers! Plenty of room to swing a rope. Plenty of heart and plenty of hope. Come, Come sweeping down the plains. And the waving wheat. Can sure smell sweet when the, the wind comes up behind the rain. Circles in the sky. We know we go to the land, and the land we belong to is grand. So when you say, yeah! we're only saying you're doing really fine. Oklahoma, Oklahoma, okay. L A H O M A, Oklahoma, okay. Oklahoma, come see for yourself. It's just frozen rain. Can we just please pull over? There's gonna be dents all over the car. What are we, storm chasers? This is insane. Hmm. Until there's a climate control knob that actually controls the climate. See, thank you for agreeing with me. There's the next best thing, insurance from AAA. Welcome back to AAA's Discover Oklahoma, seeking out destinations this week that reflect those quiet pleasures. And our Abby Curran has found just such a place in Tulsa. She tells us it's tucked alongside Tulsa's Harvard Avenue for generations and a spot at the counter is prime real estate. As they say, from shakes to Shakespeare, Steve's is the place, and boy, is that true. A locally owned family establishment, Steve's Sundry has been a Tulsa institution for over 65 years. It started in 1947 by my father-in-law, Steve Stevenson. He had just gotten out of the service and he had always wanted to own his own store. So he started actually at 12th and Harvard where the original Moody's is still located. Families in Tulsa and people from all over the country have flocked to their current location at 26th and Harvard since 1958. Bookworms, students, and magazine lovers can walk the aisles at Steve's to find their next favorite read. They also carry Oklahoma-specific books among their many unique items found in the store. We specialize in regional titles specific to Oklahoma and, and Northeast Oklahoma. We do book signings. We have at least one local author every Saturday, 52 weeks a year. Not only do we have new books, we have the largest selection of magazines in the state of Oklahoma. We have a vintage 1920 soda fountain. That's right, when your eyes start to get tired from all the reading and your bag starts to get heavy from all the shopping, refuel in the back with Steve's famous egg salad sandwich or milkshake. Everything is made on premises every day. We serve the best shakes and malts that you'll find in Tulsa. And of course your fountain drinks. Um, cherry cokes, vanilla cokes, um, just the whole schlemiel, so to speak. Memories overflow as the malts are being mixed. Growing up in Tulsa, everyone remembers heading to Steve's Sundry. So I would sit actually in this chair. This was my chair. I've got bubble gum along with the rest of Tulsa underneath the soda fountain. And um, so, yeah, so my dad would used to bring me down here when I was a little girl. So, lots, lots of good memories. And new memories are still being made every day at the store. I invited my Aunt Jennifer and Cousin Avery to join me for a soda fountain date to catch up. Last Saturday, we had a young woman meet her birth father here. Yeah, Hallmark woman. Yeah, so you just never know. We've had a gentleman who was late to his own wedding because he wanted to stop and get something to eat first. You know, go figure. Open all week, Steve's Sundry is a must. Shop local and shop often at Steve's for all things books, magazines, and more. We have um, customers who, um, who grew up in Tulsa, but who now live in New York. And whenever they come back to see family, they always are in. And now they've got their kids, so they bring their kids in. It's just kind of a fun place. From Steve's Sundry in Tulsa, I'm Abby Curran.
reading is one of my favorite quiet pleasures. And while you're there at the newsstand at Steve's, I can think of the perfect thing to pick up for your reading matter. I happen to have a good example of what you could pick up. Right it's there? the latest edition. Such of, a coincidence. Absolutely. It's the latest edition of Oklahoma Today magazine. Here's a preview. Oklahoma Today Magazine's Indian issue takes us inside the cultures of our Native American neighbors with a tour of Tahlequah, the Cherokee Nation's capital city. Then we'll find a seat at the table inside the Chickasaw Cultural Center's cafe for a taste of traditional cuisine. Then turn the page and take in George W. Long's iconic photographs of Plains Indians. Follow the mission of those fighting to protect the nation's most majestic and emblematic birds before discovering how the Wichita Mountains remain a restorative destination for Comanches a place that for generations has blurred the line between past and present. All this and more inside the current issue of Oklahoma Today. Get yours at the newsstand now or visit oklahomatoday.com to subscribe. Oklahoma Today, the people, places, history, and culture of Oklahoma since 1956. You're going to dig our next destination. And dig being the operative word. We'll tell you all about it and have all the details when AAA's Discover Oklahoma continues in just a moment. We had some family members that had switched to AAA and they kept telling us how much money they were saving and kept telling us that we should look into it. And so we decided that we should go see what, what we could do. We have three kids and there's not a lot of money left at the end of every month. And so any penny that you can save is a big deal. AAA was something I always heard of when I was growing up. And when people talked about it, they talked about it in a reliable way. And so when we switched to AAA, um, it was something that we just trusted from the beginning. It ended up saving us quite a bit. Our car insurance alone saved us probably about $600 a year. Our life insurance, we were actually able to double our coverage and our premium still went down um, close to about half as well. Again, it's not something you ever want to think about as you grow up and become a grown up with a family, but it's definitely something that you need to have. Having insurance is important. Having affordable insurance that you can trust is a blessing. Welcome back to AAA's Discover Oklahoma, seeking out those quiet pleasures that can really help you out when things get loud and crazy. And our resident Zen master, executive producer, Shel Wagner, has found a great location and the perfect pastime. It may take a minute for your eyes to adjust to the spectacle of the Salt Plains National Wildlife Refuge. As foreign a landscape as the moon surface, this seven miles long salt encrusted expanse is perhaps best viewed from the observation tower near the entrance gate. The platform is also a great place to observe migratory waterfowl, some of them endangered, that feed and nest on the plains. They rule the roost here. This is a wildlife refuge after all. But this area, the largest saline flat in the central lowlands of North America, has had many purposes. Indian tribes and early pioneer settlers used the salt. It was also used as a bombing test site in World War II. But it has always been a tourist attraction, which is why my girls and I are here, because even though the salt plains may be devoid of vegetation, they are positively fertile for growing a crystallized form of gypsum, the selenite crystal. We're on a mission to increase our Oklahoma souvenir collection because any oaky worth her salt should have a jar full of these. These crystals found in northwestern Oklahoma are the only ones in the world with the milk chocolate colored hourglass shape inside. A placard near the entrance gives tips for unearthing these one of a kind gems and a cordoned off drive leads you to the designated digging area. Each section is used in a rotating basis to allow time for new crystals to grow. You'll want to bring along a few items to dig for our official state crystal. Shovels, containers for your treasures, water. Start by making a hole, and you won't have to dig very deep before water begins to seep in. Then splash water onto the sides of the hole until crystals emerge. You'll need to be careful with them. They're fragile when they're still wet, so you'll want to let them dry in the sunshine. Crystal digging is permitted April 1st through October 15th, sunrise to sunset and collectors can take home up to 10 pounds of crystals plus one large cluster. There are few things more fun than playing in the mud for kids of any age, and crystal digging becomes a contest to see who can find the biggest, the most perfectly shaped, the best hourglass or the largest cluster. Crystals measuring up to seven inches long have been found here, along with complex clusters weighing as much as 38 pounds. We didn't find anything nearly that impressive, but we still counted ourselves winners. 
because this freakishly amazing natural wonder belongs to us all. At the Salt Plains National Wildlife Refuge in Jet, I'm Shell Wagner. We still have more on the way. In fact, we'll take a look around this beautiful hotel, a stroll through the beautiful Skirvin Hotel when AAA's Discover Oklahoma continues. He's been our insurance agent for the last six years, uh, but the year before that, he was the best man at my wedding. Asked him if I could quote his auto insurance, to which he said yes, but you're going to have to beat the company I've been with for forever in order to get it. I didn't think uh, they'd be able to. So I, I took the opportunity to quote it, and I, and I was able to save him about $600 a year. Man, I was just like, boom shakalaka, like, are you kidding me? He actually said that on the phone, boom shakalaka. You know, saving money with AAA means food on the table for my family. Even after he saved us tons of money, he's looked at our policy over the years and, and helped us make changes to save even more money without us asking. We offer the best of both worlds. Um, we have uh, great cus customer satisfaction through the level of service that we provide uh, and combined with an amazingly low rate uh, that most companies out there cannot even come close to. You know, as a parent, as a husband, I know that AAA is gonna take care of us. I don't have to worry about it. AAA is gonna be there, Levi's gonna be there. They're gonna take care of our needs. This summer, you're gonna need this. Thrilling adventure. Heroic performance. Ford Summer Spectacular Sales Event. Featuring blockbuster deals. He's the best chance we got. Now playing at your local Ford dealer. So you in or out? Welcome back. AAA Oklahoma makes this show possible and does a lot of other great things around our state. Here's a look at today's AAA. Hi, Chuck May here with AAA Oklahoma. Motor club programs like AAA Roadside Assistance used to be a driver's only option when their car needed rescue on the road. Nowadays, however, hundreds of businesses are offering roadside assistance packages. So what makes AAA the best choice? Well, for starters, we cover the person, not the car. Insurance programs only offer coverage for the vehicle on the policy and often count roadside assistance as a claim, causing rates to go up. New car warranties call for dealership service, often requiring upfront payment and may have gaps in coverage that could leave you stranded or stuck with an unexpected bill. 53 million members trust AAA because AAA protects you 24-7 no matter what vehicle you're in with the most comprehensive coverage available on the market. Visit AAA.com to learn more. AAA for the ones who matter most to you. We certainly appreciate AAA being our sponsor and as you said, they do a lot of wonderful things including recognizing outstanding restaurants and hotels. And this hotel is certainly one of them, the Skirvin Hilton in downtown Oklahoma City, a gorgeous place that is steeped in history and tradition. And those are just a few of the reasons why it was named a AAA Four Diamond Award winner. Steeped in a grand style of history, the Skirvin first opened in 1911. Always paving its own way in the industry, the hotel did sit empty for 19 years, but in 2007, it awoke from its slumber once again in grand style to a magnificent reopening. And since then, the hotel has been winning award after award. One of the most recent was the prestigious AAA Four Diamond Award. And then earlier this week, we also received notice that uh, in the Americas, uh, within Hilton, meaning uh, Canada, U.S., Central and South America. There's only five hotels who received this award. We're one of them, and we'll receive the, uh, the Hilton brand uh, Excellence Award, uh, which is just an, another incredible, uh, incredible thing that happened. And you can always expect an incredible stay at the Skirvin Hilton Hotel. When the hotel was re, uh, rebuilt uh, six years ago, you can see this extraordinary lobby. But if you go to, to our rooms, you have uh, a very uh, contemporary feel about the hotel. From the stylish rooms, the amazing lobby, to the Red Piano Lounge, to the Park Avenue Grill, to the front desk, which by the way is 102 years old, you will find true authenticity and class. And of course, over the years, everyone from presidents to entertainers, they've all stayed here. The Skirvin is simply in the middle of all the positive synergy that is Oklahoma City. The hotel number one is we're in the center of it all, both for business and for entertainment. We're close to any attraction in the city. The second thing is, is that uh, a lot of people really talk about our staff. It is really the, the, the two stars of the show over here are the actual hotel and our team. 
While the 225 rooms all have the wonderful contemporary amenities one would expect from such an outstanding hotel, let's not forget the emotional connection with this building and its illustrious history. Mr. Vandalin says when people from out of town stay here, they quickly understand that this is a very special place in a very special community. You know, after all these years, 102 years, this hotel is known for a memorable experience, and to this date, we still, we still want to accomplish that. Congratulations to the Skirvin Hilton Hotel on winning the AAA Four Diamond Award. Visit a AAA of Oklahoma office near you for all the details and to chat with the travel expert. That's our show for this week. Thanks so much to the folks here at the Skirvin Hilton in downtown Oklahoma City for hosting us. And we also want to thank you very much for watching. Next week, we are driven with car-centered destinations well worth the drive. From an unexpected emporium of all things hot rod to a beloved drive-in restaurant in Lawton and a drive-in movie theater, not only surviving, but thriving. Hope you'll join us as we go Ford Exploring. So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma. Production vehicle provided by the Oklahoma Ford Dealers, official partner of the Oklahoma Tourism and Recreation Department.